One cup of this green leaves is only 4 calories, so how can it be ranked number 1 in the nutrient-dense food list? Well, for that, we should understand what is nutrient density. Nutrient density is a measure of the nutrients a food contains in relation to how many calories it provides. One cup, which is 34 grams of watercress, provides over 100% of the RDI for vitamin K. Watercress also contains small amounts of vitamin E, thiamine, riboflavin, vitamin B6, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, sodium, and copper. Therefore, watercress is an extremely nutrient-dense food. That's why it's ranked number one on the U.S. Center for Disease Control's Powerhouse Fruits and Vegetable list. So in this video, I'm going to show you a watercress recipe, which in combination with mung beans works perfectly as a watercress salad. With just four ingredients, this watercress salad is sure to help your weight loss journey. And hey, stay till the end as I will also touch upon the things to watch out for while consuming watercress. Let's get started on this watercress salad. This is a bunch of watercress which I usually wrap it in a paper towel on the day of purchase. This ensures that the leaves stay fresh and green when I take it out for cooking later part of the week. Let me give you a closer look. It's got tender green stems which is edible. The leaves are light and not heavy like your Malabar spinach or the other spinach varieties. So how does the watercress taste? It's a light crunchy leaf that tastes peppery and bright. The flavor is so different from your normal spinach which is usually watery. What I usually do is, I, I chop it really fine so that no one can pick out the leaves from the salad. If you have kids, you know what I'm talking about. Once these are ready, I prep the chilies. I chop them fine uh, and then we need some shallots. Now you can use onions here but the shallots do give a better taste. How much of shallots? Well that is personal preference. I stick with about three shallots. The last ingredient is cooked mung beans. Now this is the easiest beans to cook, no soaking required. Now how did I cook mung beans is I pressure cook this for five whistles. Now if you're using the pan method, take two cups of water for one cup of mung beans. When the water is boiling, add in your mung beans and cook until they are soft but not mushy. We don't want mushy beans for this watercress salad. Then it's all about cooking it together. Take a pan, uh, heat it up well, add one tablespoon of oil. Then you just drop in the chilies, drop in the shallots, saute, saute, saute. You don't want to fry them but just cook. Then you add the watercress in pots and wait till it turns a bit of darker green or in other words wilted. That's an indication that watercress is cooked. You don't want to cook the watercress on heat for a long time. So at this stage, it's time to add the cooked mung beans. Season it with salt and then give it a good mix. Now if you don't want to add mung beans and just want to uh, eat it like a watercress salad, then try adding ginger along with this because it tastes so good. Actually ginger pairs really very well with any leafy green. I usually have this with uh, rice porridge or sometimes with uh, sweet potatoes or another uh, protein. Alright, now what to look out for when consuming watercress? People with kidney stones may be advised to avoid watercress due to its oxalate content. Oxalates are naturally occurring compounds found in many foods including uh, some leafy greens like spinach, beetroot, Swiss chard, sweet potatoes, etc. Now, watercress is relatively high in oxalates. So when consumed, oxalates can bind with the calcium in the body to form crystals. So for individuals prone to kidney stones, it is said that the accumulation of these crystals can contribute to the development of kidney stones or exasperate the existing conditions. However, it's important to note that individual responses to oxalates can vary. If someone has a history, they should consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian who can then provide personalized advice. Now seems like a good time to ask you to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done it yet. Since we are talking about low calorie vegetable, here's another recipe from the cabbage family which is not cabbage but just gives you 9 calories from one cup. And I shall see you on another video. Take care.